Oh, I did not see you there. Welcome to my new show, Sweetie. And I will be your host. Uh, I am Ferdinand von Herman, and I am here to interview with interesting individuals and extract the truth upon the galaxy. I hope that you take a seat and enjoy the show. How have you been doing recent in recent times with your mortal life? Mostly okay. Ah, lovely. Lovely. Any small projects or projects or hobbies you've been getting into? Well, I've been trying to get through my college courses without any trouble. Ah, I see. <laughs> uh, what are you studying uh, uni for? Mostly I'm looking to go into game design. Ooh, most interesting. Then I bet VRChat is a cultivating place to do such a thing. Where you can really see what the potential of game making can do. At least amateur game making. But we all know Unity is not exactly what you call, uh, uh, at least VR chat, uh, uh, fancy or, or premium. That is true. Yes. Now then, what, uh, could you tell me a bit of your past, Devious? To be honest, uh, my past was probably pretty just simple. It, it's just going about how things were. I see. Was there any turbulation? Any uh, hardships? Any bullies that you wish were dead now? Not really. I don't hold any grudges to people. Ah, interesting. Do you know what uh, made you this uh, foregoing so calm at your situations? I'd probably say a lot of friends that have helped me through the years. Ah, I see. Yes, it is interesting how we are not ourselves without others shaping us. But at the same time, you are individual. You do everything, uh, at least to your knowledge, by your free will. Is that? Yes, that is true. Ah, good. good. It would be a shame if you learn that your, li your life is a lie. Being pulled by one man. You but a puppet to, its, to the puppet master. Wouldn't be that shocking, really. Ah, I see, that's the thing. We cross a very fine line between uh, uh, free will and the complete obedience of having no will. What do you say you are part of? Are you part that we are? We fate is already decided that destiny is but for God. It could be written on stone. Or are you of the group of free will? That everything we do is but chaos. And chaos is what forms us. I feel like it's free will by the fact of obviously everyone makes their own decisions and it can lead to consequences or benefits. Ah. Uh -huh. Most interesting. So would you say that it was pure chaos, pure just your free will to join this interview? Yep. Ah, I see. Most interesting. Yes. I must ask, why haven't you touched your tea? It'll become cold soon enough. Good point. Indeed. But... 
I like my tea to cool down a little bit so I don't end up burning my taste buds. Understood. Well, that is one point we could share. I can never understand people who just goggle down boiling hot uh, tea. It is disturbing sometimes. It really is, actually. <laughs> it is. They're not even enjoying the beverage. Oh, they're just... Oh, yes! A good cup of tea! <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we are different. We are more elite than them. We know what it means to go for a good cup of tea. To really savor the tea in itself. To let it uh, become one with us. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Uh, may I ask your opinion on, at least, what is your experience with the furry community? I'd say from everything I have seen, they are, a lot of them are quite lovely people that help out with charities and are very polite. There are a select few, obviously, with every community, but obviously in the fairy community, there are obviously the select few that are, are not very nice. Absolutely. You know, I, I have been... Uh... At least a great ally of the furry community of just joining different world, furry worlds and making good friends. For, as you said, most of them are nice. They, uh, and plus, they can put up with my skits. <laughs> Anywho, now on to the next topic. May I ask, do you have a significant other? Not at this moment in time, no. Understandable. Uh, uh, you know, it is interesting uh, of how much our, uh, our society put on the emphasis of having a growing a family, having another spouse. But it is interesting uh, that it takes us a long while to achieve that. It takes a long while because you want to find the right person that you feel comfortable with. Absolutely. But with that argument, it can spiral out to the extreme of that you don't think anyone is good enough. Or you might think that there's someone that could be better, more fitted for you in the future. What do, What's your thoughts on that? To be honest, I guess it would be something like that, because obviously sometimes it goes far, doesn't it? People it does. don't think that someone's good enough for them or stuff like that, but even though they do think that, they should hopefully have friends that can help have a positive mindscape that could help them into thinking that there are people out there for them. Absolutely. And then, of course, there's on the other spectrum of the ones that immediately jump on the opportunity as soon as some affection is brought to them. What are your thoughts about that? To be honest, I can see that some people, at the smallest amount of affection, will jump at the chance of hopefully seeing them. And I think that's because... Uh, obviously sometimes people get very attached and they feel happy and comfortable with that person they focus all their attention to them absolutely but uh, at least those kind of relationships at least uh, with my research they have been prone to be at least not my personal research but of observing others I have observed that uh, those breakups which will uh, uh, most of the time happen are usually the worst for the clinger. It is by the factor of they've spent a lot of time with them and breaking up with them could be very difficult. Absolutely. 
Do you stir your tea with your finger? Only one, too. Only one finger? <laughs> no, I mostly use a teaspoon. <laughs> oh, you have a live then. He adds flavor. <laughs> Especially after working hard on the job. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> now I think it's time for this big boy to take a little sip you know like I get my hands in there too hmm you're less so so good sip of tea absolutely <laughs> some good old Earl Grey which is the sponsor of our episode no I I I just <laughs> But we'll be right back with more questions after these commercials. Folks, have you ever wondered what did the Kaminoans do with the clones after the war? Well, I, I can tell you, they sat in those little shiny huts for a long time trying to decide what to do with them until a bright idea popped into their heads. And now you can own your very own clone trooper, genetically modified to perfection in all ways. Yeah, dude. Dominate your own personal battlefields and all of your household needs. But if the sleek phase one design is not what you're looking for and you want something a little bit more rough and dominating, I present to you the phase two. Oh, Rugged, yeah. strong, oh, powerful yeah. in every way. You can own one of these and much more. Dial today at 6969420 Empire Street Course and order your own clone. Terms and conditions apply. Side effects may include betrayal and emotional damage or prostate cancer. Sexy clones are not responsible for any damage caused to you or the clones. Is there any questions or any stories you wish to say or ask to me? What made you want to interview people? Ah, That's something I'd like to know. That is a question I hear from all my interviewees. Even though you're my first one. Z. Now, now, you see, the reason why I want to interview people, for I have been on the uh, VR chat for uh, almost a year now. No, has it been a, it has been a year now. Around a year and so, uh, almost a month, uh, ha half a year now. So I've been on here for quite a while. And I have observed that as long as you are nice to others, you could get some juicy stories for the most unexpected people. That is qu actually quite a true thing. Uh, obviously... Making friends with a lot of people in VR chat, uh, you do tend to hear a lot of like stories of how people came to be on VR chat. Absolutely, it is always an interesting blight to listen to others of how they met their lovers uh, on VR chat or how they are now uh, a successful um, media. Uh, producer or just business of some company because of VR chat is truly an interesting climate that we live in. Now then, I must ask, Devious, is there any juicy stories you wish to share? Unfortunately, I don't have any juicy stories. Ah, that is understandable. If anything, there's a more juicy story than the uh, juicy story itself. It really shows how you take the diplomat route. That nothing extreme happens. But I bet that's the way you like it. Just in, in a nice safe spot with a close-knit group of friends. Am I correct? Actually, you are, you are, you are very correct. Ah. Well, you see, Devious, I did not bring you on mere coincidence. I have been stalking you for many years, watching you grow from a little pup to the, the, the man you are now. I've watched you uh, uh, travel around. Uh, yes, 
Well, you see, I have a headquarters in Liverpool, and I get to watch you closely. Well then, that's interesting. No, I, I, I just, it was all a ruse. <laughs> you have been bamboozled, my good devious. <laughs> Yes, but um, but I do, I do uh, ask, um, how is your friend's situation in the real realms? I understand that you have a, a nice group of friends on this platform, but what about the real realms? Your uh, people you can see physically. To be honest, it's mostly the same. Uh close group of friends that I am around a lot. I have unfortunately lost a few friends because I lost contact with them with moving away or losing contact in general. Well, that is to be expected. You know, friends come and go. And it is saddening to see them disappear, but all you can wish for them is the best of luck. Of either they are going to move uh, somewhere, say France or Germany, for that that nice, well-paying job, or they move, uh, or they just they just need some time to themselves, and you lose connection that way. But all we can wish for those friends is good luck and uh, all well to them. Yes. Is there any other communities you are part of in the VR world? Not that I would know of. I see. So you say that the... Well, I would say loosely, uh, like, fu fully into it, but... but um, uh, so I'm guessing the furry community is the one that you are the most active on. Yeah, I would believe. Well, at least aside in, from in the speed. gaming community. Ah, of course. Yeah, I I would believe that uh, being in VR chat is at least the step towards the gaming community. Because you know, the above form, uh, foremost, this game is more of a chatting game, a text me uh, text messaging game, but with voice and uh, body. Yes. So it, I definitely think it is interesting how, at least, um, have you met anyone that is uh, of uh, the older age, say 40s or the 50s? I don't think I've met anyone that um, age group. I believe I've met someone that was in the... 30s a while back but I never had the chance to add them as a friend they were very polite though oh, of course I I believe so hardly that after 30 years walking on this world unless you are a true monster then you will learn that being kind and diplomatic is the way to peace and tranquility yes I, I understand your sympathy. You know, I'm also one that strives for uh, to become a diplomat before a warmonger. Of course, but if it has to come to that, would you send, uh, if you had to, would you send troops in the front lines if it meant further peace amongst your people, your friends? See, that is a very difficult question. That it because is. Because... Yes, it would be nice to help my friends, but if it costs, be obviously how you've stated, as in, like, um, sending people to the front line, yes. it would be quite hurtful. It could cause a lot of problems, and it could definitely stain someone's um, known personality. Indeed. But at the same time, that's already happening. You are not giving the direct order, 
but people, soldiers in the front lines are, are dying for you, are fighting for your life, for you to live comfortably in your room right now, talking to a person on the other side of the world. It is very true that that is already happening, and it's been happening for actually a very long time. Yes, before you were and... born. Yeah, unfortunately stuff like this happens, and it is very unfortunate that people have to resort to fighting to sort a problem. Absolutely. You, you know, you could say it's even a bit hypocritical, fighting a war to further peace among the people. But if there is a prolonged war, then what people will be left to protect? That's very true. Absolutely. Do you study? Do you study the arts of war by, by the great ancient writers or modern ones? Uh, no, I, I haven't actually looked into anything like that. I had done history, but I don't think I ever got around to looking into any of them. Ah, uh, I see. So you won't say yourself, uh. Actually, that's a good question. If you had to describe yourself in five words, what five words would that be? That was simply marvelous. And we will be right back with more of this beautiful conversation after these commercials. Have you or your loved one been uh, in, uh, has the case of hand deformity? Now, if you are suffering from Imperial Hand Deformity, you may be entitled to financial compensation. So call, call the Storm Brothers uh, Attorney Office at 520-999-65. Oh, I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> Those were some interesting commercials. Now then, back to the regular program. Yeah. Uh... I'd say carefree. Carefree, I see. Is that your... Um, not judgmental. Non judgmental, I see. And peaceful. And peaceful. Understandable. You do not have to put all five. Well, you see, for your, at least with your personality, three is more than enough. It shows that, yes, exactly as your first one, you are easygoing. And you want only peace among your friends. You. Uh, if I had to guess, I'm guessing you are one that people go to to become their neutral party, their judge. Sometimes, yeah, but sometimes I'm just kind of a nice person to talk to, somebody to listen to if someone has any problems. Absolutely. The group's therapist, advisor, shoulder to cry on. You, I'm, I'm guessing you feel good once that, that person truly feels that they can trust you. That they know that you are a source of uh, betterment. That they can come for you for anything. To be honest, it does make me happy that if people are comfortable enough to actually come see me if they have a problem of some sort and be able to talk to me about it. I do feel quite happy when people are able to. Uh, and see, that goes on to my next topic. Selfishness. Would you, what, what's your stance on whether everything we do is inherently selfish or are we, uh, are we true, uh, is there some things that we do that are truly uh, selflessness that they do not benefit in any uh, us in any way to be honest 
with how things are, it is a two-sided thing. Obviously, you have people that are selfish, and sometimes being selfish, yes, this is obviously a little, in my opinion, it's a little wrong to be selfish, but I feel being selfish can sometimes be a good thing, such as if there is somebody being like rude or disrespectful, it's obviously good to be selfish and rude back to them. I feel you treat someone how you wish to be treated. Exactly, the golden rule. But, in a same sense, uh, you expecting them to treat you how you treat them, isn't that a bit selfish? Th that's what obviously, yes, it is very sh selfish to expect that, and that's how life is sometimes. Everyone yes. has a bit of selfishness in them. Uh, exactly, uh, yes. Uh... Inherent, uh, was it? Yes, indirect selfishness. It's not exactly a bad thing. If anything, it is exactly what you said. If anything, it could push the person to do kindness upon the world. Just think about, uh, uh such the people who do, say, volunteer work or, or help, uh, the ones in need. Even if they're only doing it to make themselves feel better, they are still helping. Uh, the, they are still helping. They are still putting the man hours to help the ones who truly deserve it, who truly need it. Yes. So, what I have learned from this beautiful interview is that you are someone to depend upon, someone that, that any friend could trust and put their life. Uh, well, probably not their life on the line, but. They all truly fight for you and make sure that you are as comfortable as you make them. Am I correct? You are very correct. Ah, good. The only reason why I am so confident on this is for I am the same. I am one that I am. I will give advice on any topic. Uh, no, rain or sun, salt or sugar, day or night, gold or civil, I will be there. And I, you, you are the same. You are there to help your kind brethren in the fight of life itself, of trying to make sense of this nonsense world. To make order within the chaos. Well then, is there anything, uh, is there anything more you wish to add or any questions before I wrap a tea up? There is one question I must ask. But of course. How do you prefer your tea? Ah, that's a good question. You see, I prefer my tea nice, uh, uh, not look warm, but just hot enough where it tastes delicious, but not burning, scorching hot. And I like, uh, if it's around this size, I like three to four cups of, uh, uh, cubes of sugar. I'm a big sugar, uh, olic. I love my sweet. And uh, if I'm truly going go fancy, I'll put a bit of creamer. But uh, if anything, it depends on the tea. For you see, creamer could be too overpowering and ruin the, the taste. And what about yourself? Well, thank you for answering my question. Devious. I am mostly the same when it comes to the how hot the tea is. I like it to obviously be around the right temperature to enjoy it without burning off my taste buds. Absolutely. And I myself also have quite a sweet tooth. Sometimes I will put a couple teaspoons of <laughs> sugar into my tea. Of course, you know, there, there's a, it takes a lot for it to be too much sugar. <laughs> yes. But uh, I must thank these uh, devious for coming out here to speak upon me. 
I'm very happy that you obviously decided to choose me to obviously come and take this interview. I was very happy to do it. Oh, that was a mighty grand show, I must say. If you desire more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. For you see, ah, my time is coming to end. One day I will cease to exist. Until then, I hope to see you at the next tea party. Ho 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 ho.